The ban on offshore drilling expired in 2008, but the current administration doesn't show signs of allowing any meaningful oil and natural gas exploration on the outer continental shelf. In fact, President Obama's most recent announcement actually took this country a step backwards with respect to responsible offshore development. Instead, they are trying to build offshore wind. This is the proposed area for Cape Wind, a wind turbine installation off the coast of Massachusetts. Our question is, how would Cape Wind compare to an offshore natural gas platform? For comparison, let's look at the Manio Prospect, a large pocket of natural gas off the coast of North Carolina. If the Manio Prospect produces as much energy as the Gulf of Mexico's independence hub, which it's expected to do, then it will produce 320 trillion BTUs of energy annually. That's enough energy for the entire state of Delaware. Yes! To generate the same number of BTUs from offshore wind, you would need 59 Cape Wind projects. 59! That means 7,700 offshore wind turbines covering an area larger than Rhode Island. That's a lot of wind turbines. Wouldn't we be able to see them? Here's a digital simulation of Cape Wind from 6 miles away and 14 and a half miles away. These simulations include the electric service platform, which is necessary for transferring the electricity to shore. The Manio platform, by contrast, would be 40 miles off the coast and not visible from the shore. Not to mention that according to the government, the real cost of offshore wind electricity is almost two and a half times as much as the newest forms of natural gas electricity. So, it takes a lot of offshore wind turbines to equal the energy output of one natural gas platform, they cover a lot of ocean surface area, and it's an expensive method of generating electricity. But that's the price for being green, right? Well, not so fast. There's a lot of diesel lubricants and oil inside of wind turbines and their service platforms. So much so that if a hurricane completely destroyed the 59 wind farms, there would be nine times as much oil spilled into the water than if the natural gas platform was destroyed. Nine times as much oil. That's a lot. How we get our energy matters. And when politicians force us to use this source of energy over this one, it's us, the consumers, who end up paying more. Leave us a comment below, and to learn more, visit instituteforenergyresearch.org.